Hi there everyone, and let's check out another very beautiful chess game of Paul Morphy, and in this chess game Paul Morphy has the white pieces, and this game was played in Paris in 1858, and his opponent is a player named C. Beerwert. So Paul Morphy starts the game with playing e4, e6, d4, c6, bishop to d3, d5. So we have the French defense, e takes on d5, e takes on d5, knight to f3, bishop to g4, and Paul Morphy castled, bishop to d6, h3, bishop to h5, bishop to e3, knight to d7, rook to e1, well, blocking the king with the knight, knight from b to d2, bishop takes on f3, knight takes on f3, h6, queen to d2, queen to c7, c4, D takes on c4, bishop takes on c4, f5, knight to e5. And after this move, Bierbert castled in the queen side. Paul Morphy played bishop to e6. Bishop takes on e5, d takes on e5. Unpinning the knight, king to b8, queen to c3, knight to b6. Well, in this position, if knight takes on e5, then bishop to f4 is winning immediately. Defending with the knight is not working. Bishop takes on e5, knight takes on e5, rook takes on e5. And black needs to resign. In this position, white is a piece up. So that's why Beerworth played knight to b6, queen to a3, knight from b to c8, defending the vulnerable a7 square. Rook from a to c1, g5, f4, pawn takes pawn, bishop takes on f4, rook to d4, queen to e3, rook to e4. So Paul Morphy was attacking the rook, and Beerworth is defending the rook and attacking the queen. Queen to f3 by Paul Morphy, queen to b6, check, king to h2, and then rook takes on e1, rook takes rook, queen to b4. Rook to e2, knight to g6, bishop to d2, queen to b5. And Paul Morphy captured the knight with the bishop, rook takes on c8. If king takes on c8, of course queen takes pawn with check. But Paul Morphy captured the pawn anyway on h6, and everything is falling apart for black. Well, Paul Morphy is a pawn up, rook to h8 attacking the bishop, bishop to g7. Attacking the rook, rook to h7, bishop to f6, rook to f7. And in this position, Paul Morphy played the killer move. Well, Paul Morphy simply played queen to h5. And believe it or not, but in this position, Beerworth needs to resign. But he didn't resign, and he played knight to f4, and at first it looks like it's a logical move. So if queen takes rook, knight takes rook. But after this move, Paul Morphy simply captured the rook. And Beerworth resigned on the spot. Because probably after this move, Paul Morphy announced checkmate in two moves. If, of course, black captures the rook. So let me show you the possible continuation. Queen takes on e2, queen to e8, king to c7, queen to d8. Checkmate. It's not going to make a big difference, but of course if knight takes on e2, again we have the same checkmate. Queen to d8. So after queen takes on f7, black can't even capture back the rook. And white has the rook. And this is completely losing for black. That's why Beerworth resigns. Another flawless chess game by Paul Morphy from 1858, Paris. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Take care.